Hey everybody, it's 2016 NFL Survivor Pool Sprap Time. What's that all about? Yeah, I've been doing this for three, four, I don't know how many years. I pressed the search on YouTube there and <laughs> I don't know, it's been at least three years, probably more. And uh, so what the Survivor Pool Sprap does is, oh, looking, at, looking at old me from last year. No, no, I haven't changed that much. All right, so <laughs> what you do is you pick a team every week to win a game. It's just that simple. You know, the NFL is funny like that. They gave the first Thursday game, which is what? Is that like a week away? It's really soon. Yeah. Carolina and Denver, they always do the, the nice rematch of the Super Bowl. So you pick your winners. And the only thing is you can't pick the same team twice, which you'll see later in the video what happens when you do that. Uh Anyway, we have some other sheets in here to do other things other than just record picks and keep tracks of, uh, you know, if you're running a survival pool with your friends or family or whatever and you don't want to keep track of it by a pencil and paper, you can use this, fill this out, put people's picks in here, use it to actually make your picks. That's, uh, or at least advise you a little bit based on statistics. So what I'm showing right now are some pivot slicers and a pivot table. These pivot slicers are these visual filters and I'm messing around you don't have to know how to do all that but it's just messing around you're able to choose like the week of play right so this is week one action that we're looking at and that other pivot slicer um, you can remove inactive things from it that's what I'm doing right there so that you can see uh, only the active ones those are the teams that are planned in week one right seems like there'd be more than that Week one home, yeah, I'm missing half the games, right? Because I have a home and away team. So in this filter here, it's a little tricky to manipulate through this pivot table, but what you can do is, is it's showing the matchup. Uh, it gives a team of reference there in that column C. So the team of reference is the Redskins in this game. And it said they were 100% favorite, but that's only because they were the only team listed. These favorites and these percentages and these data bars and things that you're seeing in colors, you know, stuff off to the right looking good, red to the left looking bad. That's some formula driven stuff that's not perfect. It's, of course, it's not perfect, right? It's predictive. But it's trying to guide you, showing you based on wins and losses and points for and points against, things like that. Um, you know, we're looking at, look at best defenses there, looking at points against, um, right? Ascending, yeah. So points against, you know, Seattle, Cincinnati, Kansas City, good defenses, good teams. You can also get other looks in these other sheets uh, from 2015 full season. As the 2016 season happens, I update it with the weekly stats and cumulative stats for the current season of 2016. So this stuff changes, and all those percentages and estimates of who's going to win all change as the season goes on as you get data from the season in there. There's these other sheets for recording your scoring. There's a results sheet where you have to pick the actual winners from the actual game. This is where you fill it in. So like that's saying Denver actually wins the game on Thursday. Other sheets that we have are, you know, after somebody completely fills out their pick, here's what happens when you pick the same team twice. Shows up in pink, can't do that. So change something. Uh, you grab the entire list of all 17 games, you copy it, the copy that rectangle, and then you bring that rectangle over into the you know, entrance picks results thing here. And you just paste it as values, paste special values. Got to remember to do that. And um, you don't want to do a regular paste. Actually, you can probably do a regular paste there. I take it back. You can do any regular paste. So this pivot over off to the right in blue is a scoring pivot that keeps track of all your entrants and whether or not they won or lost. Because there's a little formula in there that's determining right there, that formula, whether or not the game was a win or a loss for the player. You can sh expand or collapse the, the row labels, it's called, in that pivot table to just show who's winning and losing. I'll do more videos throughout the season to show how to manipulate your scoring and do things like that. But you just create, you know, I'm creating a second entry there for Jared and just giving him a pick in that first game of Denver or Carolina. So he gets a win or a loss, and then you see how he starts to filter into the standings as a win or a loss. So all your standings end up being automated once you get people's picks in there. And that's the whole point of the Excel file to automate. It makes things easier for you. So if you want a copy of this, email me and I will get you one and you can be uh, hopefully winning some football survivor pools this year and uh, have fun. Can't stop.